uh, I don't see why this term is used, how additives are used in the food industry. That's, that's a good question because um, there's a lot of distrust in uh, citizens and consumers on how additives are used and how many additives your food has, uh, how long sometimes uh, the ingredients list looks like. I know it's additives a big concern for citizens and uh, consumers. And um, when we think of policymakers, many of them are consumers itself. So that's why it becomes a very emotional or personal issue when you talk about additives. Additives, uh, to me, are two things. Uh, one, one is a natural thing that has been for ages. So food has always had additives. And it has been a technological solution for problems that really diminish the quality of food or the shelf life of food. So you need additives to really make them better. So, for example, uh, these are kind of additives which are called antioxidants which the word says it, they avoid foods become oxidized, but at the end it's become rancid. So when you think of oils and fats, they have antioxidants, because if not, your fats, your uh, margarine, your uh, butter, whatever, will taste awkward and it will not be good for you. Uh, it's a very bad taste, really a rancid flavor. So you need antioxidants, and that's a natural thing to do. Another kind of uh, additive, for example, um, salt or vitamins, um, there's one that I really like, which is ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. And I really like it because it's natural in many foods, but we use it a lot as an additive per se. It's called uh, ascorbic acid or E300, although it is vitamin C. So that's why sometimes it's very confusing for consumers to, to understand these uh, names that looks like chemicals.